My third grade class just left and I wanted to show you how I set them up painting murals. And what we did was we did brain coral today. And I showed a quick little YouTube video on coral. I'll show you over in here on my TV. And then we looked at the overhead of brain coral because that's what we we're kind of focusing on. And you can see the different kinds here. And I set the kids up in groups of two to four. Let me spin it around. And they painted large mural sheets. This is just butcher paper. And I had the two colors out at each table. And I just told them the patterning to do. Uh, I gave, I basically assigned them a type of a coral to paint. And they did them on this nice large butcher paper. And it worked out really easy uh, and, and very calm. It wasn't a chaotic group project. They were all busy, of course, the entire time. So they were engaged and on task and there was no discipline problems. Um, so it was very easy prep for me. I just basically cut these chunks of paper off the butcher roll and had them ready. While they were watching the coral reef video, I placed the butcher paper uh, randomly around the room. I kind of wanted them, uh, you know, in groups, not all congested, so the kids would have uh, plenty of space to work. And then as the video was playing, I just explained to the uh, kids as there were some kids, like for example here, there was a bo one boy that did this mural um, because he had a sponge. So I just showed him individually how to do it. And he started. And then this boy back here was a single guy on a sponge too. And so he created this type of a patterning for coral. And then after the video, I, I pulled several kids. There was four girls that worked in this brain coral, or actually two gir three girls and a boy. They did this brain coral, so uh, I ha explained to the kids as they were, uh, you know, I demonstrated to that little group. And then eight kids, I demonstrated this type of a coral too. And they did both of them right there. There's theirs, four on each. And we did this in a 40 minute class period. My classes are 40 minutes. So it was a nice, uh, you know, they watched the video probably for about five minutes and then I started assigning groups. Um, but as I assigned groups, they were continuing to watch the video. That way it's not chaotic. That's, you know, we don't want a chaotic, crazy art room and no kid is waiting to do something. They're all engaged and busy, um, but that's the overall look. And then I will cut them up, round them, and then start building the Coral Reef Adventure. And you can see how I've already started putting some of the murals that we did earlier. My second graders worked on those murals and here's some brain coral added into the second grade murals that will go up in the wall. The goal is for the entire art room floor to ceiling to be covered in um, images the kids have painted for our coral, coral reef adventure. So this is our beginning. So I work up background first before we do any sea life and this is the beginnings of how i start my art adventure uh, 3d art uh, black light art show